How you doing guys? Chad here, the Hidden Spring Farm. Today, we're gonna talk about ducks. We're gonna talk about eight things that you should know before you go on and get ahead and get ducks. They could be good, they could be bad. It's the good, bad, and the ugly here at the farm. But I'm gonna tell you, eight things that you should know before you get ducks. <laughs> Raising ducks can be a fun and rewarding activity. Oh, geese are shouting. There's the ducks down there, guys. Yeah, I've been raising ducks for a little over a year now, and I wouldn't change a thing. I love raising ducks. These quacksters are amazing, amazing. They're free ranging in this little pasture area that I set up for them a little while ago, and they're loving life at the farm. There's a good number of things that I really didn't know about raising ducks a year ago, and now I'd like to think that I know a little bit about what to do. So we're gonna get into that in just a minute. I feel like the number one thing that anybody looking to start getting into ducks to know about is how messy they are. Super messy. It's bad. They, uh, they get the water, they get the feed, they mix it together, they squish it around, and it's not good. They poop everywhere. They poop more than any other animal I've ever seen. The geese are bothering me right now, guys. Look. How am I supposed to talk to YouTube with the geese bothering me? <laughs> yeah, they get their food and the water mixed together. It creates muck and it's just not good. Their run gets super nasty. There's poop everywhere. There's wetness everywhere and it's just gross really gross but the good thing is guys there are ways to combat this okay so while we're in our summer months i'm not using the run to feed or water them they're basically feeding and foraging in the pasture which is out there and uh helps keep the muck and the nastiness away from the ground of the run. I also don't feed them inside their house. And some might say, well, they should have access to food and water at all times. And I say, that's a bunch of hogwash. They don't. They can survive an evening without water and without food. This is their house and I don't give them any food or water inside the house because all it does is muck up the bedding straw and it's not good for anybody. The next thing you really need to know about is the odors. And I'm talking some serious stankage here, folks. I'm inside their custom ultimate duck house right now. I use straw as the nesting boxes and the bedding. And if it gets wet in here at all, it becomes super nasty. All that's in here mess wise is poop. And I'm talking a lot of, a lot. Cause they don't have a sphincter, eh? These waterfowl, they don't have a sphincter in their butthole. So there's nothing holding in the poop. It just <laughs> whenever they feel like it. But guys, that's not really what creates the stink. What creates the stink is when they take a little bit of food and mix it with a little bit of water and it nasties up that water. And then what do you do? It looks like green pea soup, it's gross. And then when it sits for a while, it stinks. So best thing to do is to keep providing them fresh water, guys. Whatever you do, when you go inside the duck run or in the duck hut, don't wear nice shoes, okay? You always wanna wear your farm shoes or your muck boots, that's for sure. It's a very common misconception, guys, that ducks need to swim, and that's not true at all. They do not need a pond, but they do need access to water, especially when they're feeding. Really have esophageal muscles, so they have to kind of and, and get all the water to wash the food down their throat. You really got to think about, guys, where you're going to get the water from, because last year, when I first got ducks, I didn't have water close to their house. Now I do. I put in a frost-free yard hydrant, so I shouldn't have any problem this year but you really gotta think about how far you gotta go with the water. 
And when I built this custom ultimate duck house last year, I built them a party pool. And it took me a while to get it going, but now it's working out pretty awesome because they have constant access to water out here on the party deck. And it doesn't really get the dirt part of the run mucky because it stays up there on the wood deck. It's still muddy up there though. You can't solve that, but I just hose it down once in a while with the hose psh, 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 and wash it all away. This water has been in here for a week now. It's pretty nasty. Yeah, it's pretty nasty. So it's time for me to drain out this pool and fill it up again with fresh water. I got the water draining from the party pool all the way down here. I got a shut off and then the water drains all the way out here and it'll just soak up into the water in the woods here. We're lucky because we have very sandy, fast draining soil here. So never any flooding happens, but if you have lots of clay on your property and you want to do something like this, you better have a proper drainage area. Behind me here, guys, is my custom ultimate duck house. If you wanna watch some videos on how I built this sucker, it took me two months last year, and I'll put a link for it somewhere up here, and you can watch me build that wicked awesome duck house. Hello, ducks. <laughs> Another thing you really need to think about, guys, is how loud they are. They're not super, super loud like geese, but they're pretty rambunctious, especially when I get the ducks rumbling like this. Ducks get ready to rumble! The drakes don't quack. The hens quack, but the drakes don't. The hens kind of go quack, 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 quack. But the drakes, they just go, ah, ah, ah. They kind of, it's like a grunt, you know? Tim the Tool Man Taylor, you know? Uh. <laughs> I, I love that show. I got a separate little hut there for these young ducks um, because they're just not quite big enough to be with the big boys. And uh, we hatched those out a little while ago. And you can see that video right here. I'll put a link for it for you, okay? If you want to watch on how to hatch out ducklings. Well, are you coming to get the eggs? Let's go, let's go get the eggs. If any of you folks out there raise chickens, then you know typically, not always, but typically chickens lay their eggs inside nesting boxes. That's not true for ducks, guys. Ducks will put you on an Easter egg hunt every time. So I got my trusty sheepdog, Molly, here, and she helps me hunt in the eggs in and amongst all the straw. Where's the eggs? Ah. I see something here, guys. Here's a little nest they made last night. See those three beautiful duck eggs. Jackpot! Check this out, guys. There's the mother load. One, two, three, four, five. So it looks like three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. That's nine eggs all together. And guess what, guys? We have nine hens. That brings me to my next point, guys. Duck eggs. Duck eggs are amazing. They're bigger than chicken eggs. They have a higher yolk to white ratio, meaning the yolk is much bigger. They're amazing for baking. If you guys ever tried duck eggs in baking, it makes everything that you bake better. I guarantee it. The eggs are actually a lot tougher too. It's got a thicker shell, so it's less likely to break. Now our khaki Campbell ducks can lay anywhere in between, I don't know, 250 to 300 eggs a year. Now that's keeping pace with one of the better chicken layers too. That's a lot of duck eggs. Very prolific layers. Now even though the ducks are out on the pasture foraging in the grass and stuff, I always like to supply them a little supplemental food. And I give my ducks combination layer chick feed and five grain scratch. So it's on my list of things to do to make some kind of a little shelter for the food when I put the food out in the pasture. That way it won't get rained or snowed on. Ducks eat a lot of food guys, a lot more than chickens. But the problem is, is that they make a mess. They put their beak in there and then they're like fluffing around their beak, you know, flicking it in the water, making a mess all over the place.
so that's when I decided to make this puppy. This is a bulk feeder. I use it specifically for our ducks and now our geese too because we have four geese. It holds three and a half bags of feed. It's got these PVC pipes that I put there and it's got this little stopper to stop them from pulling the feed out because you know they love to make a mess and I mean they stick their beaks in here and they dig around and then they get food and it doesn't allow the rain to get in there. Now it took me a little bit of effort to build this sucker but just in case anybody is handy out there or thinks they might want to tackle something like this it saves me a lot of time not having to feed them every day because this holds more than a month worth of feed and it's relatively inexpensive you know it's just the cost of this uh, brute garbage can it's one of the big sizes it was basically like 60 bucks I think and then you got some of this uh, four inch PVC piping and it's fairly simple to put together so I'll just I'll put a link for that up here anyway for anybody who wants to check out how to build this wicked awesome poultry feeder you can use it for chickens too if you like Now ducks are flock animals guys. Keep that in mind when getting ducks. You can see how they're all sticking together like a school of fish. You're never gonna find, you know, like a single duck just sitting there. Now I don't know if that's for all ducks, but it's definitely for this khaki Campbell breed. They like to stick together. You don't wanna just get one duck guys. That'd be really too cruel for the duck. You don't wanna get just one duck. Now the eighth and final thing that I think you should know about getting ducks is that these guys are super hardy. They're the hardiest birds ever. They're good in the cold. They don't have a lot of health problems. The babies are tough. There's not a lot of die off. Healthier than chickens. They're stronger than chickens. These ducks are amazing. And I would recommend any farm to have ducks. They're super fun. But of course, just like anything, you have to figure out how to do things efficiently. Now, they stink. Maybe you need a better setup, you know? They're messy. Maybe you need a better design, you know? Design a better house. Free range them in a pasture, then they're not so messy. If you keep them locked up in a pen, of course, the bottom of the, the bedding of the pen is gonna get nasty. But uh, these guys, while they're foraging, eating bugs, they eat tons of bugs. They're also fertilizing the pasture out here. I pasture the geese and the ducks out in our orchard, so I feel like it's really gonna help. The geese are coming over to me right now, guys, right now. Really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I wish I had watched a video like this before I decided to get ducks. I jumped right into it and I wasn't ready. I didn't have proper housing. I didn't have proper brooding. I didn't have any way for them to get water and it, was, it wasn't good. I was trucking water from our, our lone water hydrant like 200 feet to where the ducks were all winter. It, was, it wasn't good. Now I got smart. I put water right beside the duck house. So I'd like to think that I'd learn a thing or two. But I hope this video maybe will help anybody out there who's thinking on getting ducks. I recommend it. They're amazing. You don't need to have a lot of ducks. You can just have a few ducks on the homestead. The geese are right here by my side again, guys. Look at them. <laughs> The geese are a lot calmer than the ducks, guys. The ducks are scared of their own life, but the geese, they're different. Geese are different, but ducks, they're pretty cool. They're, when they're ducklings, they're pretty awesome. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah, it's so fun to raise them up from ducklings all the way to ducks. So uh, anyways, I really hope that you enjoyed it and you found this video informative. And don't forget to click that subscribe if you'd like to see more of the ducks on our farm. And uh, don't forget to pound that like, guys. Gotta pound the like. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode, okay? You guys take care.